Hello, my name is Walt Smith. I play bass with Jeremy Camp and wanted to tell you a little bit about the uh, basses I've been using. Um, this is actually a, a 1973 Fender Precision Bass. Uh, it's all original and uh, it's pretty beat up, but uh, sounds great, plays great, and uh, they don't make basses like they used to. So um, it's got quite a bit of uh, uh, checking and patina on it, but it's, it's just, uh, it's great. And uh, can't go wrong with a Fender P bass. Um, all original. Everything, everything's everything's original. Um, I've got the original pit guard. It split down at the jack, so I had to replace the pit guard. And uh, whoever bought it uh, had put a uh, different bridge on it back in uh, seventy, uh, probably seventy four, seventy five. But yeah, yeah, it's badass too. And uh, it's a but it's a great, great bridge, man. And uh, adds sustain to it. Um, but yeah, I love this bass. Um, these are my road bases. I, I, I take out a, a seventy three P bass, and then I've got off also this. Uh, 78 jazz bass um, and it's it's all original as well um, and uh, it sounds great these are my two road bases uh, at home uh, for tracking studio I've got a uh, all original 61 P bass and I've got a 66 jazz bass and a 69 jazz bass but the 60 stuff stays at home for sure um, uh, three bolt yep uh, it's a uh, definitely 78 so they went to the uh, three bolt I believe in 75 um, and uh, yeah it's a it's it's been around a while too, but um, yeah. nope, all original frets too. Both of these are original frets. So uh, usually, um, obviously, when I'm, I'm looking at vintage bases, I try to uh, uh, first go with what sounds the bre best, uh, then what plays the best, and then uh, look for anything all original. Um, but uh, my '60s at home, they're all original. And they're 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 great. Um, yeah, we take uh, three lines, uh, so I'll take a, uh, a clean line right from the base. I go through a, 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 a radial J48 that goes directly to the house. That's in case the rig cuts out or the pedals cut out. Um, and then uh, we also take a dirty line, uh, which we, what we call a dirty line is through the effects. That's right from my head. I use uh, Aguilar gear, so I have an Aguilar DB750. Um, we run that, take a DI right out of that into a, a Empirical Labs Distressor. Uh, which is a compressor, um, and then that goes directly to the house. And then we also mic the cabinet. I have a, a 810 cabinet and a 412 cabinet, and we mic the 810. So uh, a lot of lines, but they're great. Love it. Love the gear, man. So awesome. Right. Thank you guys so much.